Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Cancer. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want personal readings, hit me up at Jocelyn Lovely 84 at Gmail. Guys, I'm, I'm getting time capsule. I'm getting a uh, digging back into your past. I got a ten of swords, right? It's almost as if um, the busyness of life or the heaviness, the density, everything that, 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 that the baggage in itself, right? Of all the pain that you've endured in the ten of swords, right? Whether that's staying up late night, obsessing, not being able to sleep, um, in pain, right? Physically, in every area, right? Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if you're in pain, right? It's, it's like, it's like it's like trying to to stop for a second and uncover every single bit of trauma you have in here. It's a, but it's a lot of work, right? Because there's so much going on here. But the Eight of Swords is again clearing out, getting deep within, and figuring out what it is that caused this heartbreak, that caused this Ten of Swords energy, right? This this disaster, this trauma. What caused it? With the Seven of Swords, it's like trying to be clear, right? Because with, with Seven of Swords, it talks about uh, unclarity, the lack of clarity. Uh, it talks about um, deception. It talks about m mystery, right? Uh, it could be dishonesty, the dishonesty, right? And so this is this is the, the card that comes up to help you question, like, what, what about this are you denying? What about this Ten of Swords have you been denying, right? Denial is the opposite of acceptance of where you're at or what the root cause of things are. So why why haven't you been able to look within, right? And it almost seems like some of you guys are feeling unclear of that answer. It, everything seems unclear to you, right? It's like well, you don't even know why. Why you're, you're hiding from the pain. All you know is that it hurts, right? But you don't know what exactly you're hiding from. So here you are. With the seven of swords and then the seven of wands here you are trying to kind of get in as deep as possible clearing out all of this debris right and trying to just get to the root cause of this whole pain in the first place no matter how painful it is right and then the minute you you know you take out layers of the of the density of, of when you get into the depthness of it all right you, you, you start to see water with the five of cups you can actually finally you know feel you can feel something and for a lot of you guys it's sadness you feel a lot of sadness but again you you went from the journey of going to the 10 to the 8 to the 7 and now the five of cups right you're going from a 10 to the five look at the numbers different tools but the numbers don't lie uh with the five of cups it's it's like you can finally get in tune with what it is that you've been needing to feel what it is that you've been missing you go from the five of cups to the four of cups, right? Getting deep within the roots. Why are you affected by what this event, by this event? Why were you affected by this event? And if you were affected by this event, uh, how bad is it? It's like you're asking yourself the right questions. Why can't I move on? Because of this pain. How bad is it? Uh, we're about to find out. There's no, there's no progression, right? It's, it's it be, because you haven't looked into it. Now you're going back to, to the, the scene, scene of the crime, right? You're going back to what caused the trauma. And although painful, you're doing the hard work. This is recalling memories, energies. This is recalling like what exactly happened. This is trying to recall. This is trying to reclaim the events that day so that you can finally see something you can finally see why it affected you that bad. You can finally, ex you know, just just see see if it what it is. See the pain. It's like you had to disassociate for a second. You had to step back and watch, replay this event over and over and over again to try to get different angles, to try to get a resolution, to try to get something. And now it's like you're finally here. But it's it's because you're 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 here. You're here. This is where you were supposed to be. With the two swords, right? We, we went down from a four to a two. Uh, the event itself, it transformed you. It changed you. It's hard to see. You haven't been able to move on since it happened. See? Catastrophic. It's gorgeous energy, but it's a, it's a shift. It's an event. It's something. It's a heartbreak. It's something that came in and destroyed you. It caused you to stop believing again. 
It caused you to stop living again. It caused you to stay on hold. And now it's like you're 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 getting your life back by you going back into the the cream the into the events by you uncovering the events that traumatized you really getting into it you get your life back because now you can heal from it but you have to face it and here you are facing it no matter how painful it is again i, I mentioned pain because that stops a lot of people from healing all the time that's just what it is okay what's next That's interesting, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you see how this sword wasn't clear? The sword wasn't clear, it's deceptive, right? So it's, it almost seemed like you had to deceive yourself so that you wouldn't have to feel the pain. You had to run from it, you ran from it, you, you couldn't see anything. So now it's all crystal clear, you could see the pain. The, the time you got either, you know, it's the, it's the pain. This is the pain, this is unleashing the pain. The event, you recall the event and you feel the pain inside. It almost seems like somebody got shot or got stabbed or something like that. Like something very painful. And now it's in your body and you're, you're, you're healing that. You're shaking the pain off, the trauma off from your body. Here you go. This is it. What you've been waiting for. The ace. You went from a two to an ace. You went from a ten to an ace. You went backwards. You found out what it is. You faced the scene of the crime. You faced your demons, the thing that you're afraid of, and here it is. Ready for you to unpack it and experience this feeling, these emotions, this moment. Experience it. Because this is the thing that changed you. This is the, this is the event that caused you, that caused change in the trajectory of your life, right? So it's like, it's time to pay homage to it. It's time to accept it. It's time to, to, to be honest about it. That it really did hurt you. It really did destroy you. It really did change you and, and, and release it so that you can go, you can move on. Because it's time. And here you are saying goodbye to it. That's gorgeous. All right, that's for my cancers. That's all I have for you guys. I love you.